Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again and I've just got my cadmium red medium out. It's a, uh, just show you. There we go. <laughs> I use a, a, a various different brands of paints. So I've, I've got no loyalty. <laughs> whatever works, whatever I've got that works. That's what I like using. So I'm going to do this scene. It's a bit of a, uh, it's a made up scene to be honest. I quite like it. I like the idea of it. I like the idea of having a nice red in the sky as well. Just sprayed my paints with my uh, atomizer. Stop them from drying out. So I'm going to put a bit of yellow in this. Got some of this uh, yellow in my red. Put an orange. So I'm going to have the uh, the sun here. So I want that to have a different type of look, of an orange look in the middle. Okay, and then some red on the outside. I want to paint this all the way, all the way to about here, I think. And we've got water down here, so we use the same colours. Bit of yellow in it from where the uh, the sun's going to be. Take that to there. Like that, I want this uh, colour to go all the way, all the way to there. And then it's going to get a little bit darker as it comes out. And I'm going to paint, I've got like a, uh, a castle. It's going to be here. I've done this sort of idea before using watercolour and gouache. Uh, I'm doing another one <laughs> because I really like it. And I've had this idea of doing a really strong sky. Really strong red sky. So it should look pretty good, hopefully. So I'm going to. Uh, it there and some of the paint hasn't quite made it onto the card but more of that yellow Slightly going over that. And 
There's way more yellow for that to, to show, so give it some more. That shows a lot better. yellow in the water as well. Now I want a bit of dark in my uh, red. So what I'm going to do is get a little bit of this black and red. Nice black and red. I use that over here. To create a duller colour. Go all the way down there. I want the water down here to be darker as well. So there's not black in it. like that. Because what I'm going to do is have a bit of a reflection of what's there in the water and uh, so we need to have the same colour in both places. I might take this all the way down to there. So what I might do actually, I might dry this and then uh, it'll be easier for me to paint on the top. Okay, so I've just given it a dry. So then now we can probably get another layer on it, but uh, it won't bring up the previous. Because what I find is when, if you leave it slightly wet it starts pulling up the paint and that's what was happening there so the easiest way is to just dry it and then uh, you can paint on the top like this and it's not pulling it up so I want some yellow it's melted on the top of that glow okay now I want to uh, really get it strong in the middle 
So getting some yellow and white, a bit of red in it, and a nice strong colour. Like that actually. And then I want that to go into the ground, into the water. I think we've got that nice reflection in the water. Now I'm going to start putting in the castle and the uh, the darks. I'll use this brush, yeah, number ten. <laughs> number ten. I'm going to use a, uh, a really dark red. So it's going to be mostly black with red. Let's get this land going. So we've got some land here, over there. And of course it's going to go into the water as well. I want this uh, castle to come all the way up to there, something like there, something like that. as well. And this goes to about there. There's another piece that goes there. This is a really old one, really old building that's been there for years, it's battered. Oops. a tower a bit higher there. It's a bit of a point to it. tower there. And this goes down 
into there. Just trying to work this out really. I'll probably be there. I'll probably be there. I might need to put some bread back in to I'm going to use a little bit of that red actually and I'm going to put it on this Just seen something that I might do. I might add myself a uh, bit of a, a rock bit there as well, like a, another sort of a, a guard point or something. It's watching this water. I like that idea. Put a little bit of red on it. You can uh, create whatever you like, whatever uh, you want to do. You can just design it. It's one of the fun things about <laughs> painting is you can just make your own place up. Got a bridge here. pillar there so I just have to remember where the land is <laughs> so it's about here I think so that can finish there there's another one there So we've got that and then uh, we're going to have the reflection. So it's like there, there, probably about there.
Allah. Anyway, I'm not going to uh, get too worried about that. What we need. I'm just putting little lines in that just to give it more of a watery look. Okay, now what I want to do, I want to have this light affecting this dark. So I want to create like an orangey, orangey red. So kind of like a reddish. Just to affect this area a bit. Touch of uh, the red in it as well. A bit more of the red. I want to get this side. There's some red bits on this bit. And this bit. Just bouncing a little bit of light from the sun all the way over there. <laughs> Just to add a little bit more to it. And then this building. Maybe I'll bring that forward. That one can stay there. And this one can have a bit on the side and on the bit there. Try and get that illusion of a reflection as well. So now I might go a little bit lighter still. Use another brush. Gonna have a bit of the uh, bit of the red and the yellow. Make a light orangey pink. If you could see that, let me just throw it on to this building here. And this one here as well. Can have a bit. side and the side of that one as well I actually noticed the light hitting a building this morning when I was out walking and I was like, hmm, I remember that. I remember the way that light hits. It was good. Make this a bit more obvious on this here. Might have a little bit of red. I wonder if I could. Uh, yeah, I thought it would look quite good having a little bit of a uh, red breaking this up here. Bit more water. Not there though, I want to get rid of them. <laughs> Don't want to shrink my uh, land too much. OK, 
Okay, quite liking this so far. What I'm thinking of doing next. Oh, there's a couple of things I need to do by the look of it. I need to improve this bottom part here, needs to have the. Uh, area created Something like that makes it look a little bit better. Have a colour fading away a little bit. This end, I want maybe I can put something there. I don't know what, some of just something. I don't want it to be uh, a yeah, bit of some trees there. Who knows? <laughs> right now, I want to put some lights on the building. So I'm going to use some of this green, this is phthalo green, a bit of yellow. Phthalo green and yellow, maybe a bit of white in it as well. That's this nice strong green, which is what I want, nice, nice strong green. And the lights in this building, because it's a bit it's a bit of a spooky type building. <laughs> so I'm gonna have some of these green green lights in it. One there, one up there. Not tower. Maybe it's got one there, maybe it's got a bigger one there. Another light up there. Maybe there's bigger lights in this part of the building here. There's a bit of a light there, and then a couple of lights in that building, and then there's this one down here, which would have a good couple of lights. In that building. And you can put them in the water as well.
and I'll have a few lights going along this. Well, it's quite, they're quite dark compared to the main light. So what I might do is get some of the bit more white in and then look at the ones that I want to bring out a bit more. And I'm thinking probably these, a little bit more light in there. dark there. Yeah, I think that looks quite good. I don't want too much detail, I just want just enough. I think this should be further down like there. To match everything, so I might just go just get rid of that. <laughs> give it a go anyway. <laughs> it's not looking too bad actually. What I might do as well, kind of populate it a little bit. Maybe there's a boat. Maybe there's a boat there. Sailboat. boat there. Could give him a little bit of a light as well. He's got a light on the front of the boat. Yeah, you could do all sorts of things really. Quite like that idea. little place, nice little guard place or, or maybe it's just a uh, a place where a villain <laughs> and they live in this area and they bought an old castle and turned it into their like villain den type place. Who knows, imagination starts running. <laughs> Anyway, I've enjoyed doing this one. I might put a little bird in. <laughs> I want a little bird. This is the sort of thing where you'd get a load of little birds around this sort of thing, wouldn't you? Or bats or something. Yeah, a few little birds there. We do like a bigger one up here, just so you know that there's a lot of birds around. Do 
Yeah, so there we go. It's a lot of that in the water. Reflection. And then the last thing I might do. I might do. Have a little bit of a. Over these. Get rid of that as well, a little bit. There. Give it more of a watery look. Well, there we go. I think we're about done. I don't want to do too much because I think I'll uh, quite easily overdo it. <laughs> it's easy to do. But I quite like that. It's quite a nice little scene. Maybe I could brighten the middle of the sun. A little bit of white and really over. Get it a lot brighter. Let's just brighten it a little bit. I don't think I will actually. I might do a little bit of red around it there. I think that'll do. <laughs> I think I'll leave it there because I, I quite like that actually. Quite like that little scene, a little reflection on the castle. It's a nice fun little painting that you could do. You could do something like this or something different, totally different. You could change the idea and maybe you want just a nice little house and some trees or something. But you do whatever you want to do. Thanks very much for watching this one. And I'll see you at another one. Cheers. Bye.